<laughs> I know I'm alive today, folks. We'll see you guys back on the old uh, the editing game. I'll get this one all tidied up for you guys out there. My new friends, over and out. Be kind to your friends, your family, and people on the street. Over and out. Well, it's just too nice outside to be sitting around editing videos when I could be out creating videos and making a living in this gorgeous country and this beautiful province of British Columbia. I love it here. It truly is a, a, a beautiful place on the planet, friends. Beautiful British Columbia. They used to have an ad on TV. It was a tourism thing, you know, come to BC, bring cash. Um, and it was supernatural. And the song was, the, 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 the tune they played was really catchy. Super, supernatural, super, supernatural. It was deadly. Supernatural British Columbia. Check it out on YouTube or, or, uh, or you know, like Google it. It's really good. Supernatural. That's all I got to say. I'll see you on site. Okay, we're just heading back to that property uh, where the maples, you know, the maples and the fir were. And I pulled that log out of the ditch, you know, friends? Yeah. So that's where we are now. We come in here. It looks brighter already. There's a snag there I got to take care of. But we'll go down and, and see what's going down here first. I gotta find my axe. See, everything's the same. But I left my axe here. That darn shebango axe. I don't know what it is about that shebango axe. You know what I'm saying, friends? <laughs> I think my old shebango axe is behind the maple stump here. We're gonna find out right now. We're gonna check it out. They might not be. I better have a look. Let's see if we can find it, friends, shall we? I don't know what I, the last place I was banging a wedge was, was over here, but I thought I was. I was using my axe here. It should be here, friends. It was the only other place I banged a wedge was, was right here. Right? It should be here. But it might not be. I could have moved it. Maybe they picked it up. Hey? Maybe the customers picked it up. No, they didn't. It's right there, friends. <laughs> There's something about this axe. It wants to... I got to keep my eye on this axe. Look at that, friends. It's been sitting there for a couple of days. And you can tell that head ain't going to fall off sitting in the water like that. Hey? Yeah, I've been using it. Yeah. It's actually a nice axe. <clears throat> it's a real nice axe. It's got some weight to it. For banging, eh? Maple's tough, boy. There she be. Once you get her going, oh yeah, it's, we split a lot of maple back in the day, boy. A different splitting. Different splitting, I'll tell you. You guys know that one, eh? Hey, I just can't stop splitting. I, I like it so much. So there's this one if you get stuck, right? You know what I mean? This one here works good. Okay. Shebango is the key. We'll see if they're home. If not, we'll go cut trees. Huh. 
okay friends here's the here's the next project on that same property they want these freaking weeds gone they're maple and alder and they're just they're gonna be a major problem you know so we're gonna out the field here with them I think those ones are staying over there but all behind the fence here and everything all down here I think there's a couple I gotta climb other than that it's pretty good like uh, I got a plan here to uh, yeah see there's one leaning right back here but we can leave it because it's leaning back so just gonna put this here and start knocking this is the one I'm talking about right here I might even be able to wedge it beyond there I don't want it hitting the corner of the shed like it's right there it's difficult to get at this one can go that way and take actually that one and that one this one here is, is a problem look at this one see this one it grows up and it comes up and goes right over top of the corner of the shed and it won't slip by that way because of these cedar limbs you see that it's like it won't it won't go through those cedar limbs it'll hit those cedar limbs such a small tree and it'll just go right across there so i'm going to open up those ones there i could actually do that now <clears throat> get rid of that but i'm gonna i'm gonna start on the bottom side and work my way up which i always like to do so there's a little structure and a fence here they're not worried about it we're just going to cut it down open this up and start going so it looks to me what would be nice is if i could tear this fence down here because i'm gonna have to pull out the axe my little pouch back there I'm digging those so you can see our plan here so I brought the 81 just because it's got a nice long bar and I can buck all this firewood up for them in short order This is a Dutchman. Right there. See that? My first cut went in. My first cut ended up over here. My second cut came up and it didn't quite meet. So now there's a plate of wood. There's an actual plate. So this tree falls, sits down on that plate and drifts over. Watch.
What do you think, buddy? <laughs> They're all going down. You always start at the low end and work up. That comes from a fallen background. You want all those on the pond out too? Want me to get what I can? What you can, yeah. Okay. And now what about bucking? Well, we're going to have to, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to work your way up this way here, are you? What's that? You're going to work your way this way, are you? Yeah. Another Dutchman. friends here's one where a dutchman comes in kind of handy you got this tree here cut up it's leaning back into this crown a little bit so i've got to get it moving and as you can see it's leaning straight out to the field quite hard it's an alder tree they don't hold on really well i'm just going to shoot for the top of the pile up in there i'm not going to shoot high and it'll grab this little little sapling well not sapling it's a little tree beside it and take it out but this is where the dutchman really comes in handy and it's it's not a you don't have to use a Dutchman here. That, that, that's not what I'm saying. And you're best not to, to be honest. I could easily do it without. But someone was asking about a Dutchman, a working Dutchman. <laughs> okay. Once again, here it is. Okay, see? There's the Dutchman right there. It's a big plate of wood. Now you watch. I've got the undercut facing a little bit here so I can get the tree moving. I might have to take a little more out of here actually if it doesn't start moving. I'll cut the high wood first. That's why I would cut this high wood first and see if the tree will get moving. <coughs> I think it will, but it may not. I may have to open up that undercut a little bit. watch what it does okay there's the dutchman right there it just kicked in so it took that tree nicely so you see that look where that ended up right on the money so it's sitting on its dutchman right now it's waiting to go up there so that's kind of what they're handy for Okay, so, so there you go. Look at that. That actually hung on really well. Really well. So there's the plate. Look at it, you can see it. Look where it laid down. See it? So it sits on this plate. It didn't even sit here. It hit right there and here and turns in. There's the holding wood. Here's the plate of wood. That's a Dutchman. But don't do them because you don't really need them. Someone asked. <laughs>
Hey, buddy. Uh, so, there's the bottom. The bottom's all out. And it's all in one spot. Like, literally, every top is, like, in a matter of 20 feet of, of, of the dirty tips of the tops. It's all in one area. So, again, I talk about this thinking about... See, for fallers, we get in supreme manure if if the if a hoe operator comes in or the grapple yard or whoever's coming in next if it's a hoe chuck usually you know a lot of guys don't care they just fall it where it's leaning and, and it's horrible you get this beaver dam of craziness crisscrossed all over the place that's not called lay that's called crap that's not lay okay uh this is flat on the ground it's all in one spot all the logs were laying in one you know relatively one splay out you know like straight out straight along so i'm just saying if you get into a situation like this, friends, new guys, obviously I'm talking to new guys, old guys know this stuff, or qualified men, but there's a lot of new guys that are poking around on YouTube now. It's just the way of our society. We look to YouTube for things that we don't know how to do that we're interested in, right? So uh, I, I just, I didn't do any of this before. I never stopped. I would just cut and then get home and a couple days later I'd have comments and people say, yeah, well, yeah. And then people started fishing in for, 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 information how'd you do that or what why did you do that and stuff like this so i started i started sharing the the sharing the uh, information that's the word i'm looking for information so my boss i think it was my boy he calls it edutainment <laughs> edutainment <clears throat> i love that so yeah next is this massive madness crazy stuff I got a bit of rigging to do back there. It's going to be a little bit, little bit funny, actually. Yeah, so, but I don't want to, you know, that thing's gone. That little side trailer thing there, not trailer, little den or whatever. It's leaving. But uh, what was I going to say? Nothing. Fueling up. See you in a minute. Okay, we're in behind the shed now. <clears throat> out front, it's all cleaned out. And we've got this here. We're, we're into some pretty, pretty interesting stuff. This one here is uh, right up against the shed. I might have to. I don't know. I don't think I can get, oh, we'll see. Maybe I can, it's an alder. It's, maybe I can get it to bang over there if I do it right, but it's right on the shed. And this one here's gotta go out that way, which is, we got a long span left, but it should be okay. It'll probably take out that maple with it. That's my plan anyway, because I can't get that one by itself. I'd have to climb it. And then there is one climb, it's this one here. Mind you, I don't have to climb it. I could probably wedge that over if I, uh, if I did it right, or maybe back in there. I don't know yet. I'm hoping not to, to climb. <laughs> Doesn't look promising though. Look at this one. <laughs> you know, so we'll see. Maybe I can get a rope in that one and pull it over. <clears throat> Let's start cutting.
I gotta bash this fence off this thing or it's not going anywhere, right? Yeah. I wonder if it's even attached to this thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think it is. That would be handy if it isn't. No, I don't think it is. Oh, maybe this is. No, that's good. Let's see if we can get this thing to hang on the stump, shall we? You guys still with? Good. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, he doesn't care about this thing, but I'm gonna try and get it to hang on. I might even reach up and cut that branch off. Cause wouldn't that be epic? So you see that friends you see that it almost came it almost came look at it sat down right there you can see it folded wood but that tree literally almost came right around if I had a shot even a little higher I probably could have got it but he, he totally wasn't not concerned this thing's rotten and gone he told me smash it down ah, keep it this way okay friends I know I'm gonna run out of battery so I just want to show you the scenario tell you what I'm gonna do okay We've got it right up to here now, okay? We're right behind the shed now. We got this and that. Now, I've already showed you this once. This thing's incredibly <laughs> on the shed. There's no two ways about it, but I'm gonna try and bang it out of here. But I can't get a, a wedge in it until I get this tree out of the way. The plan is, cut this up, this one here, that one there, because it's looped into the cedar terribly, but I gotta take those ones out front first. It's a puzzle, get those out of the way. Then this one, I'll cut it up, but I won't cut it right off because it'll land on this shed. It'll roll out off these cedar limbs. And then I'm gonna take it out with this one here, all of it in there, let's see if it works, bye-bye. Okay, that one's cut up.
Watch the top of the tree. away from it when you make sure you know where it's at. Okay, I'm going to put some more wedge to it. I'll go off the back side here so I can slip right out maybe. Yeah, I'll be able to slip right out the back side there. There she comes. And then I'll be able to double up, you see? Yeah, I'm bottomed out, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, see? That's the problemo. There she be, friends. Oh, there she goes, as a matter of fact. Bye bye. All right. Well, it came out beautifully. In the back of the shed here. Yeah, it's all good. Everything's saved out. This was our main concern here. Some heavy leaners. Just a man and his power saw. Stuff I dreamed about doing years ago. And just started going. I just knew. I just knew I, uh, I couldn't work for the man anymore. I saw the writing on the wall. I just uh, I couldn't do it. I worked for a big conglomerate for probably a year that was about it fed my family through the winter and I was grateful for that and uh, but but I at you know at seventeen dollars and fifty cents an hour for for climate you know the funny thing was is I enjoyed the heck out of it because I just loved it I was I was you know everybody's green at one point right you're green at one point everybody is Bucking was green it takes time so but I just knew uh, I, I knew that my, my dream was to just rip around in my, in my pickup with my power saws and do exactly what I just finished doing there. I started work at noon. I did all my YouTube jargon uh, from, from 3.30 in the morning on. But trust me, friends. You guys don't hear about me crying about, oh, how long time I spend on YouTube. You guys ain't me. I don't. That's my choice to do that. Nobody's forcing me to do nothing. And nor are they forcing you. So... That's why you don't hear me complain, friends. I'm not a complainer. I never have been. <laughs> My mom taught me that. We don't have we don't have the right to complain. There's people a lot worse off than we are. Me, I'm talking. I can't speak for you. But but you know what I mean? It was my dream to do that. And and I did it for other people for a while. But then I realized that, you know, busting up your body and and and, and barely scraping by, I just ah I, I love the work and it started it started to get to the point I remember when it was like, God, I'm almost not enjoying this right now, going to work. And I love running power saw. That was a bad sign for me. 
So I thought, I, I got I to gotta get out. I, I got to do this on my own. I got to go. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> it was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life, hands down. The first one was getting my head screwed on right. That was back in, well, it was 21 years ago now. 22, 21, 22, somewhere along there. <laughs> but yeah, that was the first one. Good decision I made. <laughs> and, then, and then doing this was the second one. Going up my own. Yeah. That was a little story. A little, little ramblings and flapping at the gums. I'm packing up and going home, friends. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I appreciate the positive comments. And uh, we're growing, friends. Thank you for welcoming the new subscribers too. My True Blues and people that have been here for a while. Black Rock and the rest of these, all tons of these. Black Rock just popped into my head. But uh, you know who you are. I don't. You guys know what's going on. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming the new subs. It makes my heart swell. I love it. We do that as a, as a group, as a, as a community. It's just awesome. It really is. I love it. I don't see that anywhere else. I'm getting tired and I haven't eaten. I got to go, you know, to get like... <laughs>